What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brian Mark coming at you with another episode on this channel and in today's episode you guys are gonna get to watch one of my coaching calls rise. But coming at it hot. Two coaching calls today. And I'm working out with Cole, so sit back, relax, enjoy the episode. Let's go. Kind of fire. I pulled my headphones off and heard this music and was like, what the f is going on? Drop set. I'm gonna go work on calves because I don't wanna have baby calves anymore. <laughs> I try to do one extremely hard thing every single day, because, especially because I hate it, because it just gets me in the zone to do other hard things throughout the day. So this is the first task of the day that I'm challenging myself to do. Let's go. Are you really trying to talk shit right now? Yeah. You're late every day. Yeah, Don't even start, bro. <laughs> Literally every day. I'm like, I'm like okay with it. Like, I like being five minutes late. I know, it's horrible. I love it. <laughs> I think that if you're obnoxiously late, rude. So disrespects people's time. But I talked to my therapist about this. I was like, I'm always five minutes late and she's like so am I she always shows up late she's like I don't attach my level of respect from like time she's like five minutes what are you gonna do in the five minutes it's nothing and I was like oh that's an interesting perspective oh, yeah, well, what happens if somebody else respects their time they show up two minutes early and then they're waiting for 35 minutes but that's their fault for showing that's up 15 not. minutes oh. early <laughs> love you honey let's do it Guys, last year, when I got the house, it was like a big investment slash big risk. Cause you know, it's just like big overhead and you're not really sure what's gonna happen and blah, 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 blah. But we made it happen and I went outside of my comfort zone and I just went all in and I did it. And now we got the house and I just got it refinanced and that was our goal initially. And I just cut my mortgage payment in half. And it's like officially mine now, you know? It's just really cool that Things come together when you work hard. It's like I've been working my ass off. I'm still working my ass off every single day, nonstop, every day. And like, if you keep working, eventually you'll look up and you'll be like, oh shit, this is my gym. It's gonna be a good day. Give me a good day. That's it for the workout, fam. So we're about to go start the day. We've got about 30 minutes of mastermind coaching, and then rise. I'm good to go. I'm pumped. Life is good. Uh, my, uh, I'm fucking pumped with my fucking setup. I'm lit. So that's Calvin. Calvin, my boy, watches all my YouTubes. Shout out to Calvin. Bro, look at this. All the modern technology. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna unplug everything because I'm super excited. I wanna show you guys. And then I set up my room so I can film from three different locations. So if I want, I can film straight on. I'm gonna be getting a, a neon sign for back here so I can literally set up a live stream right here. So I literally, all I gotta do is turn this ring light, set it up and boom, I can film from here. I just did my rise from this location and then I set up my back corner in my office that looks like this. Check it out. Got a little plant back there. I'm so excited. Well, we don't know why right when we- Don't f***ing DM me. Disrespect. This is why, this is why I don't tell you things, because you're a little savage. You might have filmed videos better. He's like, teach the whole team, and then I'm like- Bro, I figured this out on the weekend! The, your mind is just as present in infinitely big problems as it is in infinitely small problems. Like, most people don't dream big enough because they're like, they're like capping their potential and like what they think is possible. And so it's like, the secret to you know living a massive life is to think big thoughts. So as soon as I heard that, I wrote down a sticky note that says impact a billion people. And that is my new goal. Okay guys, so we just finished up our team meeting and I am going to take a, I think I have like a 10 minute break or so. 20 minute break, I'm gonna eat some food and then I'm going to get into, I'm gonna make a post. Cool story, tell that again. <laughs> All right, fam. So, 
They just took a little dirt snooze. Honestly, your boy is like, Tuesdays, I literally just watched one of my vlogs from last week and I realized that Tuesdays are, like, I tend to get more tired on Tuesdays. I believe it's because Mondays are like savage for me and Tuesdays are pretty busy too. Yeah. Let me know how your day is going in the comments and we're about to get this party started. Sweet! So the reason that a lot of people aren't successful isn't because you guys aren't talented, isn't because you guys don't have the work ethic, isn't because you guys aren't capable. The reason that most people aren't successful is because they're not taking fast enough action. Feel the fear and do it anyway, even if you shit your pants, good! Shit your pants and keep going. Take whatever fucking thing you've been procrastinating on and take a clear and decisive action today. If I get like hit by a bus tomorrow, like, knock on wood, like if I get hit by a bus tomorrow, I'm fucking, I'm happy as fuck because I'm literally doing everything that I said I wanted to do with my life. The worst thing that happens when you start your business is you fucking fail and you stay in the same place that you are and at least you can say that you tried. But the worst thing that's gonna happen if you don't start today, if you don't take a fucking chance today, if you don't say I'm fucking in, is that you're gonna stay in the same fucking place for the next 10 years and you'll have regret because you'll look back on your life and you'll be like, what if I would have started that day? You got this. I believe in you. You can do this. You're the fucking one. All right, guys, that's it. That's all. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Ethio, send me a DM. I'm, I fucking got you. Say, I'm fucking in. I got you. I will help you change your life, all right? Peace, love, and protein. You guys have the best day of your entire life. We'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Let's go. Ow! Shit. <laughs> I'm the fucking one. I was, I was imitating you. This one. Do you want to see it? Sure. Okay. Okay, guess who I am. Okay, I, I have to get into character. <laughs> Game time, baby. Let's get it. He, he came into my office and I was like, don't even look in there. He's like, what do you mean don't even look in there? I'm like, well, it's like, I haven't set it up yet. He's like, Brian Mark has a weakness. And like, he's like, you're just gonna not set up your office because you don't feel like it. He's like, what kind of, he's like, what kind of fucking bullshit is this? And I was like, ah, so I set up my motherfucking office, y'all. And this is, uh, this is the setup. Without further ado, this is gonna be a super value packed podcast. So get ready, uh, get excited. Let's get into today's episode in three and two. And the one. By the way, I think you should make more controversial shit that people are gonna get upset about. Hello! The first type of headline I like to write is a headline that punches people in the face. I'm a fucking loser and I deserve to be a drug addict. That, boom, that's gonna capture somebody. All right, so if somebody's scrolling through social media, it's gonna smack them right across the face. When you can write content that inspires, like content that smacks them in the face, but also content that inspires hope, that is content that converts. Peace, love, and protein. Have the best day, everyone. We'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Let's go. What's good, fam? Well, I just had a fun, fun live. Um, there was a uh, somebody just said, "What do you do? Uh, how do you feel about people in Calgary calling you a scam artist?" Do you think of the people living in there? One dude that was talking shit and I smacked him out. And then he called the cops on me. <laughs> I've been joking. <laughs> Literally, right across the face, and he called the cops. He's like, Brian hit me. <laughs> and then and then when the cops came and they went charged, and then he went on a story, he's like, Brian didn't hit me. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? I think anybody that calls me a scam artist in Calgary is a small-minded dweeb. The reason I say that is because that's where I came from, that's the city that I grew up in. And there's a lot of people in that city that are like very angry at the level of success that I have, and so I just wanted to send them a message to let them know that if you think I'm a scam artist, it's because you're small-minded as fuck, and you're probably still stuck working your shitty job, doing something you don't like, and that's just unfortunate for you. So I'm sending you lots of love, and if you wanna apply for my business coaching program, I go to my Instagram bio at bmarkfit, and just click the little apply button, and I'll give you some pointers on how you can turn your life around. I've got a coaching call at 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna sit down and get some work done, and then I'm gonna jump into my next coaching call, we're gonna talk about TikTok. What I need you to do is I need you to watch that podcast and I want you to clip out like a portion of it. Nice, I love it. We're, we're gonna spend a total of $400 on TikTok ads for this beta test. It's approved? Yeah, you're good. I want this one of these videos done today so we can promote one of them and then over the next seven days we can track 
how many leads did we get, um, did any of them convert, etc. So the so the best one probably to make immediately would be the second one, kind of like the one that's really performing really well for you to get yeah, started. So let's test out clients saying I actually lost weight, and then let's test out before and afters and see which one converts better. It's going to take too long, but I also don't want to make any promises because it is a big sure. So I, I don't know. I'm also not going to make you guys spend a lot of your money. Like it's going to be like 20 bucks a day max until we actually can make sure that it, it is profitable, and then we can start to spend a little bit more. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Guys. Bye. All right, guys. That brings us to the end of our work day. Um, I had a lot, bunch of coaching calls back to back to back to back today. So lots of work um, happening and. Basically, with the rest of my day, what I'm gonna do is I've got uh, a little bit of promotion to do for my vlog that's happening tonight, and then I'm gonna be going on a pontoon boat with Cole and Julia and the family. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did get some value. The piece of actual value that I'm gonna give you guys is like, look at the office. I think it's so important to like give yourself a space that you feel good. And um, and I, I knew I knew that for a while, but I was just avoiding doing the work. But I wanted to have a place where just like from every angle I could film and I could feel good about it. And I finally feel like I have that. So. You know, put the work in, decorate your office space, make it look fresh, because this is like, this feels good, baby. This feels good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys got some value. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and chase your dreams. Let's go.